New Jersey Colored Men from the New York Times April 24, 1872 Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake Long Branch, New Jersey, USA New Jersey Colored Men Colored Mass Meeting at Long Branch Speeches and General Fet Special Dispatch to the New York Times Long Branch, August 23rd A large and enthusiastic mass meeting of the Grant and Wilson colored citizens of Long Branch was held in this village tonight. This grand meeting was to have taken place Thursday night, but it was unfortunately prevented by the terrific storm which raged with such violence in the vicinity, and which completely frustrated the design of the Committee of Arrangements. The spot selected for the meeting was the large square between the Metropolitan and Clarendon Hotels, fronting on the beach, which is well adapted to the purposes of a large open-air assemblage. The Ninth Regiment used this square for encampment a year ago last summer. Owing to the duties of the colored population, many of whom work in hotels, restaurants, and private houses, it was impossible to organize at an early hour in the evening, and it was fully ten o'clock before the forces began to muster. When they did, they came in from every quarter and in every way. Some came on horseback, some in carriages, others traveling a long distance on foot. But everybody of color appeared eager to turn out and unite in the grand demonstration in support of the administration, and in honor and favor of President Grant. The hotels, as far as the waiters were concerned, were nearly destitute, and the general exodus of the colored population had the effect of drawing a very large number of other guests to the square to listen to the remarks of the speakers and become partakers in the general enthusiasm. The original program was to have all of the waiters of the different hotels form in line and march to the president's cottage, serenade him there, being headed by the band, proceed to march in procession past all of the hotels to the square in front of the Metropolitan Hotel, where the stand had been erected for the speakers. The Excelsior Coronet Band, composed entirely of colored men from Philadelphia, was here on Thursday to lead the procession and join in celebrating the occasion, but could not remain to the postponed meeting in the consequence of a previous engagement to be in Cape May on the 23rd of September. The waiters of the Metropolitan Hotel, a very large body, marched to the West End Hotel where they were joined by their brethren of that house, as well as by the waiters of the Howlands Hotel, Jock's Hotel, Clarendon Hotel, United States Hotel, Ocean Hotel, and Mansion House. Their numbers were largely augmented by people who came in from the surrounding country, in sympathy with the movement. Large numbers of torches were borne in the procession, as well as Chinese lanterns and transparencies with mottoes, Let us have peace. One good term deserves another. We are for the right man, Grant, 1873. Roman candles and fireworks of every description were in abundance, and the continuous glare of blue lights, shooting off Roman candles and other brilliant passage of rockets through the air, rendered the scene both animated and delightful. The committee found it impossible to procure a band, as those at Long Branch are permanently employed by the hotels. A telegram to Red Bank for a band met with no success, and the procession was compelled to march without music. After marching to the stand, the meeting was organized by the election of Mr. A. J. Davis as president, and Mr. Robert Taylor of Washington, and twelve others as vice-presidents. The chairman made a short speech, strongly supporting the administration, and endorsing the action of President Grant, after which he introduced Mr. Richard Garnett of Baltimore. Mr. Garnett spoke in a logical and convincing way concerning the relative position of President Grant and Horace Greeley, the Democratic nominee, before the people, 
and of the services which each has rendered to the colored race he showed that while president grant had done more to elevate and place the colored race in positions due to them as men and kept him there greeley has been undecided and willing for the mere sake of office to let all the good which has been done already be wiped out he also spoke of the attitude of w u garnett and characterized him as a man simply chasing after power and willing like greeley to do almost anything to obtain it mr h b wilson of long branch was next introduced to the audience and said although he was suffering from hoarseness he could not but speak a word for the cause which so heartily commended itself to every honest and patriotic american citizen he spoke very strongly in favor of the republican party mr titus of new york followed in an outing and able address general hooker of new york also spoke strongly in favor of the administration the meeting was largely attended and great enthusiasm was manifested tumultuous cheering at times interrupted the remarks of the speakers end of new jersey colored men from the new york times this recording is in the public domain